going to move on from that and talk about some news that just popped up on the timeline of uh, as a couple of days, a uh, couple of days ago, maybe a, or a day ago. It's been confirmed via Kanye tweeting it on his account. He tweeted a picture of a contract that he signed alongside with some big wigs at Caring regarding this amazing, amazing headline. Curse your vogue said Yeezy Gap engineered by Balenciaga begins. So um, essentially what's happening is that Kanye's long awaited collection with gap which supposedly was meant to be spearheaded by the designer of mawa lola but i'm not too sure what's happening there um supposedly this girl on twitter said that she left soon after being announced i'm not sure if there was a creative differences or she fell out with kanye but something happened but allegedly what was meant to happen was that the girl that designed that was a hat yeah this one the girl that makes this hat, this brand, was allegedly meant to be the one that was going to be doing the Yeezy Gap thing, right? I'm not too sure if she was going to be the creator. No, I think it was creative director, but that kind of news basically died down. And we haven't really seen much in terms of the entire collection launch since the round jacket, right? There's not really been much else that's come out. Maybe the hoodie. The hoodie's been something, right, that's come out. Um, but those are the only the two products. And of course, when we saw the first press shots, we saw like a bag, we saw a jacket, we saw some pants, we saw a full head to look, which you would imagine is what Kanye would want to do because he's always had this idea of kind of democratizing fashion. And then it went quiet. <clears throat> but then since then, Kanye's relationship with Demma, former um, Balenciaga and former Vetema has basically strengthened over the last few months. It feels like, or maybe a couple of years, he was in charge of doing the creative directing for the creative direction for the Donda concept, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and just they've got really a great working relationship, it seems like, and over the last couple of months too. Kanye's been head to toe in Balenciaga so clearly there's been some talk behind the scenes about something but I don't think anyone expected this to be the case and if you're a fan of what Dedema does and he's aesthetic obviously you guys know I am I'm a huge fanboy of his um the introduction of Dedema in the scene was literally me one of the times one of the only times I think maybe I can think of recent times apart from maybe Heidi Semen at Satan Arada that really got me excited for fashion again especially in the men's side of things I think the women's side of things there's always things to get excited about but the men's it can get a bit stale um especially after you know there are there, there were moments right Ricardo Tishira Jivon she was a moment early Rick was a moment um June was a moment right there are moments but in general that when when them not burst on the scene with Vetema with that kind of um central Europe eastern Europe kind of aesthetic um the shapes um the colors the, the you know the staples used in terms of the bomber jackets the hoodies like all these kind of things you know elevating these everyday streetwear staples into you know essentially um couture which is basically doing that with Balenciaga was amazing so um to see Kanye and him kind of bolster and together and have this working relationship this creative sort of bond or brotherhood has been sick to see and also again if you're a fan of the aesthetic but you can't afford the clothes the bless yoga vermont thing this is a great way to basically bring that to the mass market essentially it's like a heightened version of what H&M used to do right remember when they collaborated with the great and the legendary Karl Lagerfeld back in the day or Comme des Garçons and whatnot those collaborations have kind of died down for the most part it feels like um, Uniqlo still does a lot of those but for the most part you don't really see a lot of those high street collabs with designers anymore but this is kind of another level of, on top of it right this is like a creative director a brand owner himself and Kanye being able to then bring in another high level person to work on a collection basically bringing that aesthetic and kind of be able to you know provide it to the masses which is going to be sick anyway so it continues this Vogue article says the following pardon pardon me forgive me forgive me forgive me he says are you ready for this friends and collaborators Yee and Demna who until recently went by their full names Kanye West and Demna Vasalia Vasalia sorry are joining forces for the project at Gap it's quite here it's a vision come true to work with Gap and Demna the creative director of Blenciaga to make incredible products available for everyone at all times Yee told Yee Vogue so the dream that he's always had has always been rabbing on about in interviews is finally coming true I think everyone that kind of doubted him has basically got egg on their faces because he's essentially been able to do it in his own way via these collaborations that he's currently got let me stop this autoplay videos i absolutely hate them virg i despise your autoplay videos i really do i despise them and i think everyone else does too can i pause it yeah i can cool and let's go back to the article it says the collection brings together the world famous rapper and creative hottest 
sorry, and the and creative and the hottest high fashion brand on the planet right now via the ubiquitous American retailer. Them the debut culture collection for Ben Sugar last July was universally lauded as a triumph. The 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 game meanwhile signed a giant ten year deal with Gap in twenty twenty, and though only a couple of items have released so far, it's attracted an off the charts level of attention. When it first went on sale last summer, the two hundred dollar round jacket crashed at Gap's website, instantly sold out, and now there's a red one on offer. At, at, at what reseller goat for seven grand? Anyone buying a round jacket for seven grand deserves to have their round jacket stolen in a bar or something, man. That's insane. The jacket's good, but it's not seven grand good. You guys are tripping. Um, collaborations have become a, a lingua franca of the fashion world. Okay, let's not go let's just overlook that. Um, if that doesn't exactly roll off the tongue, it won't be long before it does because come on, Bellis Yoga and Gap at Brett Gap prices. Demna clarifies says this. This is a very different challenge. I've always appreciated you to. Sorry. This is a different challenge. I've always appreciated the utilitarianism and accessibility of Gap. I share some of the same sensibilities in my creative language. This project allowed me to join forces with Ye to create utilitarian fashion for all. Yet Demna and sensibilities have long been aligned. Demna says there is a certain urban minimalism and poetry in our aesthetic and also a desire to push boundaries, which I love. Engineered by Pump. Um, but in the last few months, the two have been priming the engineered by Pump. Demna Creative directed the stage sets and live streams of Ye's recent Donda listing events in Atlanta and Chicago and designed the t-shirt merch sold at, the, uh, sold at them. Ye for his part has become Blitzyaga's biggest client. Just six days ago, he was spotted in a brand's Miami boutique with an armful of shopping bags. I would still like to say, I'm not sure if it happened. I think it did happen. I think I might have saw a link to it on the website. I would still like to see a shopping shop, what he suggested, remember? When Kanye was sitting down with Drink Champs, he said, oh, I'd like to have have my own Balenciaga store with my own selects like his own pool stuff that he kind of likes from the runway collections because for the most part even though you know he's kind of bought a lot of it and he has obviously more disposable income to purchase that stuff than I do the stuff that I like from it is definitely not the sign of stuff that he likes from it but I do like the way he kind of presents it and wears it himself day to day so I would like to see what he kind of thinks is cool or what he would like or what not um, I don't know how, the, how legally how they could do it or what not but so, so far what I've seen is like a link someone might have shared on like the Kanye forum where you could basically see um, items that Kanye likes or what not selected and put on the website but that's an easy kind of win for them in terms of sales um, the continuity here says first the first easy gap so the first easy gap engineered by Balenciaga drop is expected in June, so come up very soon. With a second later in the year, and who knows, maybe there'll be more down the line. Says Demna, there's very few people that I know, especially of Ye's caliber, who really understand my work so well. He makes me come out of my comfort zone and be a better designer. There's no ego when we collaborate. We have mutual drive to evolve and do something great and new. Yeah, I can only imagine, man. That's the thing with Kanye. It's always been like that, and I think creatively speaking, definitely a sick guy. Personally, you know, as a friend maybe not the greatest in the world, but when it comes to in working in that creative field and having somebody you can bounce ideas off, somebody that can maybe um, open your eyes to different pop possibilities, expand the way you think about things and your perception and your view, make you question things. There's no one better for sure. He's definitely going to make you feel 10 foot taller having to speak with him over dinner or whatnot, but friendship wise, oof, tough one. Um, so yeah, very very much looking forward to that when it drops in June, obviously, as being a bit of a whore for what the stuff that Demna does at Balenciaga and Vetemar, and obviously liking Kanye's aesthetic overall, and being a fan of the shoes, and you know, how he presents things, I'm sure it's going to be an amazing collection, I'm sure it's going to be a very unconventional in the approach, the prices are probably going to be pretty appealing, but I just hope it's worldwide, that's the only thing I'm really kind of banking on that they don't just leave it as a u.s thing but you know the legality of these things is interesting what markets they can sell it in it's gonna especially with the with the pandemic at the moment the supply chain issues i'm not too sure if it's going to be as easy as i think it is but or as easy as i'd hope it would be but we'll see in it we have to wait and see on that one then of course um i want to quickly add on this one i think this is a quick little roundup just to kind of finish it this is courtesy of glossy this lady called rachel tashian who if i'm not mistaken works at gq star had some really um great words to say about the um yeah yeezy gap collaboration with balenciaga that i thought really surmised it really well i'm going to quickly pull up the quote here where is she do, 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 do. let's just put let's just put our oh, find Rachel there you go cool so this is a quote courtesy of um, a website called glossy.co.uk sorry glossy.co which basically 
um, another place kind of covering the deal that Easy is doing with Balenciaga. And this Rachel lady said the following, great way to kind of surmise um, how important and how amazing this whole thing is. So this is the following, um, the Easy Gap engineered by Balenciaga collection is expected to be more exclusive collection like collabs Balenciaga has taken part in with brands like Gucci and the Hacker Project. The GQ fashion critic Rachel Tashian told Glossy, this really fits into Kanye's original intention and mission statement, even before joining the Gap to democratize fashion and also to change the popular design at the level of Steve Jobs. You can now see he wants to do it. You can now see, sorry, how he wants to do it. He's bringing in Demna as his sort of Johnny Ive. He's taking his insane level of avant-garde fashion credibility and interest in design and combining it with um kanye's genius and reach for the gap kanye's genius and the reach of gap if you think about the way that iphone reconfigured the way everything looks to make everything mm -hmm. so sleek and minimalist with those rounded corners that's the level of change kanye wants to have he wants people to have an air conditioners in design that are influenced by what he's got well, what he's doing at the gap so definitely definitely great words and how to put it and um i'm really excited for it i'm not gonna lie i'm really excited to see everything around it the clothes the presentation the marketing who they select as models it's all going to be really really cool let's not lie about that it's all going to be pretty pretty cool and then